guys and welcome back to Mommy Tales. In case you're new here at Mommy Tales, I talk about all things motherhood, raising our kids, and then of course we as moms, our lifestyles. So this last weekend, I attended an event at Mgong Riscos. It was all about natural hair, and the event was titled Heritage Chronicles 4.0. It was a nice event, but let me tell you, I had planned to go there at about 2. You know, with moms, all the shugulis that we usually have in the morning and all that, but I ended up getting there at 5. But let me just tell you first, the traffic. Like from junction to Ngong Riscos. Hey, I spent about an hour there. And with every minute I kept telling myself, I was asking myself, is it that serious? Yani? Is it a matter of life and death? As in me attending this event, is it a matter of life and death? Hey, there are so many times I just wanted to turn back. But then I kept asking myself, Yani, me, I brought myself all this far. And then I turned back. Uh, 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 I was like, that event I must forget. Because Yani, I wasn't going to go home. I spent all that fuel and then I'm going back home. I was like, no, let me just ngangana, let me just vumilia. And I vumiliaed. Then I go to the event. Hey, see, it was nice. Huh? It was really, really nice. There were so many vendors, so many women who were producing all this natural organic stuff for, you know, for the hair, for the skin, the soaps. Very, very nice. And then there were so many beautiful women. Let me tell you, all the beautiful women in Nairobi, they were there that day. It was such a nice event. I got also to meet a couple of my pals I hadn't seen in a long time. And also got to attend some panel sessions which were very enlightening. Yeah, so let me just take you through what I was able to capture. I was there for like two hours because I left at about 7.30. And it was still ongoing. It was really, really nice. So here's what I was getting to capture. <laughs> Natural hair vlogger. I do has um, hair videos for natural hair, thin and fine. My natural hair journey has been all my life, really. I've I've never had a point where I cut my hair or, or kept my hair. So yeah, I've just had natural hair. Really, I can't because I have to keep my hair. So yeah. So you had never one point where cut a kapam like this, a kakali kit, no. when everyone else was doing that. No, imagine not, because our family has thin and fine hair, so we've never tried. Even braids, I've, the last time I did braids was 2002, two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, and when I've done them, I've done them myself. Yeah. Uh, I've been natural for four years now, huh? and I love it. Uh, I rarely do protective styling. Uh, the challenges that come with it is when it's uh, rainy and cold like now, the hair does not uh, put in the moisture that it's supposed to do. So it sometimes gets uh, hard, but through it, you just go to it. After some days later, because I have to keep my hair somewhere. What braids are these? This is Darling Kenya, and they are the, the max. Yes. Why did you say this style? Oh, because I love when I braid my hair. Darling just gives me life. I can style it. I can leave it hanging. Yes. So you've had this for how long and you'll have them for how long more? Um, I've had this for three weeks. I'm planning to go for two months. <laughs> because I need to pay up for all the time I start to just get this done. How do you sleep? How do you wrap them? Well, with beauty comes pain and struggle. So yeah, this is just struggle as I become beautiful. <laughs> How many braids are those? I did. I used six. Oh, six, eh? But I what I extended it to the jar to just get the Wow.
um, Irene Wapoli and I'm wearing temporary locks. For how long have you had them? Why do you like them? I've had them for a week. I'm uh, planning to keep them for six months. Huh? I love them because it's not manipulative, I just keep them. And it's, I'm trying to grow to my hair, so that's the reason I have. Castor oil, coconut oil, water. What do those ingredients do? Uh, castor oil for growth, coconut oil for moisture. And how is the natural hair journey so far? I love it. What do you love about it? Everything. It's so easy. You do it yourself. I love to the sun. So I just love it. It's awesome. Uh, okay, just, you can just turn around so that you see your two locks. Eh? Just, oh, yeah. Like an oh Personally, I did not uh, go natural intentionally. I just shaved my hair because I was tired. And then I found some strong intentions. <laughs> so, yeah, so I found Trisha Naturals and I found a community of women growing natural hair, being proud of their natural hair. And that was very inspirational to me. And I made sure that I was giving back what I was given. So when you see me sharing that much, because people mentored me, I knew nothing. You share yes, yes. Um, What what has the online culture that started as Facebook groups done for us as a community? I think those who are going natural right now are lucky uh, because everything is there for you to come and find. When I went natural seven years ago, uh, I'm a retired blogger for natural hair. And uh, I think before me there was just Kalikichana. Yes. So be before me there was just Kalikichana. Then um, I went natural. Then I found Kalikichana. Then we found the forums. Then we started the forums. So uh, I, I went natural as a, at a time where there was no the kind of support that we have right now. So I can say I learned on the job. But I've always been a hair person, even when I was in high school. I've always been a hair person. So for me, uh, going natural didn't, um, it was not hard work for me. I just needed to see uh, what works, what doesn't. So I went online and I found uh, so many resources out there from uh, US bloggers, mostly and bloggers. And uh, I taught myself how to do these things and then I started sharing them out on my blog. Uh, but I got tired of blogging because, well, blogging is tedious it is, for one it, it is, is tedious cool. and um, so when i got uh, pregnant with my last born and my nose was so fat and <laughs> yeah I, I, I had like 300 grams just on my nose only <laughs> so I, I didn't look pretty in photos and I, I was like i cannot blog with this nose so i just quit blogging and i never went back to it anyway but uh, about the same time uh, we found each other with the washroom online and she invited me to teach us like come and see this thing so that is how actually washu is my very first natural hair online friend yes 
and here we are yes, today. So, we are. Yeah. And here we are today, you know, with um, the Cali Diaries and the Afro Diaries. So uh, I can say that right now, if you're going natural right now, the forums are there. And back then there were no uh, local products for us to find. And, you know, we've come a long way as a community and we've, we've grown. So uh, right now it's a movement. And just say right now it's a movement and it has grown to be way more than we ever thought it would be uh, from the people themselves the naturalistas to the brands as in we are it's, it's a good space and uh, it's, it's just amazing that we have actually come to this day how I stay true to myself is just reminding myself that I don't have to go with the crowd and I can do I can do something that works for me and I think that's how I've gotten by you just I started doing DIY hair treatments because I didn't want to buy the expensive deep conditioners and I think that's what probably got people um, engaged more and wanting to find out more about what it is that I do. So I guess it's just remembering not to follow the crowd and to just do your own thing. And at the end of the day, people will actually recognize you for who you are and not for an imitation, you know. You can only be you and that's your power. Yeah. Washu. Okay, one, just tell the tell my fans, do you have a bad hair day? Yes, I do. Have do you have styles that don't work? No. Okay. That, so now, what are we saying? The bad hair day means... Shiro, what is your question? But, okay, so when you don't have a bad hair day, but also all your styles work, please, take us through that. <laughs> I will do that. So bad hair days means uh, unmoisturized hair, dry hair, you know, like my ends are dry, stuff like that. That's a bad hair day. Styling though, imagine if that one you can't shoot that way. Like that one can't Yeah, we've that agreed, way. we've agreed. Hey, no, Put it down. Like honestly, like honestly, we all got the same brief on your culture, but now your hair, explain. It's this like you, it's African like we're in class threading. one. You guys, you know, like African threading, right? Yeah. And twists, a combination of that. And then, but how does that come to your head? How does it pop in? <laughs> I, no, but I know all that, but even me, I'm a designer. Even you, you're a designer. No, my boy, your hair is fantastic. So I don't even know why we're having this conversation. Even you, yes, so, no. No, but honestly, so just also, and I remember you did a post about, are you struggling with styling your hair? How do you talk to someone who is struggling to style their hair? And, you know, how do they, how do they get to where you are, or at least halfway through? Or somewhere? Or quarter? Or just try? <laughs> so, I feel that it's, if you choose that you want to be natural, then you, there's a bit of effort you have to put in. Um, so whether it's watching YouTube videos, following uh, vloggers and bloggers who are talking about natural hair, and then also just learn your hair, because I think that's what um, we see photos. I see photos of Tindy, and I want to copy her look. Her hair type and my hair type are different. So if I choose to copy her looks, then I won't. I won't put it on. So figure out your hair, and then find what works for you. Then, like I'm a, if I if I look like I do a thousand and one things, I do. Almost within the same repertoire of things. I do stretched looks and flat twists. And then once in a while I do twist outs and bar two knots and whatever. Curly looks. Sheila Dinda, for example, aces her twist outs. I we have am, agreed. We all like me, right? Um, Cindy does the most fantastic puffs. S, you know, like we'll pull off like Abdu looks and everything. So find your thing and then master it. Once you do that, you will, you know, like Nyasuba does. What's Nyasuba? Nyasuba locks. You, you know? I, yeah, she made Nyasuba locks a thing and it's now a movement. So, like, find your thing, work with it, and rock with it. Yeah, so that is how the event went down. I hope you've gotten a feel of how it was. In case there's another one that's gonna be happening sometime soon, just make sure you attend it because they're really, really nice events. Yeah, so share this uh, video with a friend of yours, like, comment, and make sure you subscribe to Mommy Tales so that we can get notifications on the next time we put up our video. Remember, we're all about motherhood, raising our kids, and also how we gym nice as moms because, hey, Yanni, 
yeah sometimes you can forget yourself but it's cool just to attend this event sometimes and just feel good meet some friends of yours just feel nice about this whole parenting journey yeah so until the next time Bye.